Beijing, China. What do you know about the city of Beijing? Well, if you listen to sports news, you probably heard about Beijing, but you don't know if it's somewhere worth visiting. Anyway, Beijing is a fascinating city, a mix of ultra-modern architecture, ancient history, and delicious and unusual cuisine. In today's video, we will be looking at some of the interesting places to visit in Beijing. So let's move ahead. Number one, the Forbidden City and Palace Museum. Everyone loves visiting this amazing place in Beijing. This city was constructed in the early 15th century and it's a true historic treasure and a must visit. It's the largest palatial structure in the world, one of the best preserved in China, and also the perfect place to learn more about the Ming and Qing dynasties. If you want to learn and explore more about this museum, you will need to dedicate your time and energy to this place, as it's packed with imperial gardens, stunning architecture, and living quarters of former emperors. It's advisable to get there early in the morning because this attraction can get very busy and rowdy. Number 2. Summer Palace the Summer Palace is another of the best places in Beijing as it offers not only a fantastic example of Chinese architecture and ancient art, but stunning lake views in a natural setting too. Like the Forbidden City, you will need to dedicate a whole day to enjoy and explore the Summer Palace. If you are a bit faster, you can see everything there in a half a day. The palace has a vibrant history and surprisingly it was only restored to its current glory last century. You can check out three important areas here which are the court area, the front area of Longevity Hill and Kunming Lake. The Longevity area has the most constructions and is arguably the most impressive while Kunming Lake is much more peaceful. Number 3 Beihai Park this attractive park was a sovereign garden of the Jin Dynasty in the 12th century, but now it's open to the public for everyone to enjoy. It was listed as a national cultural relic in 1961, but was also closed during the Cultural Revolution in the 70s. What do you need to do to make your visit lively and enjoyable? Since it's one of the hot spots for activities, just take a stroll or cycle along the shaded pathways in the park. And the best part is, this lake is also a great spot for entertainment. Number 4. The Great Wall of China Do you know that your trip to Beijing isn't complete without visiting the Great Wall of China? What will you show your friends as proof that you had a trip to China? This 5,500 km superstructure was created to stop invasions from nomadic tribes into Chinese territory centuries ago. Now it's one of the most recognizable landmarks in Beijing, and walking or hiking on the wall is a must-do activity. If you don't like hiking on the wall, you can enjoy a cable car ride instead. There are cable cars there too if you want to see the Great Wall without going through stress. Number 5. Tiananmen Square Tiananmen Square was rather infamous for the famous tank photo and the protests of 1989 when many people lost their lives. However, nowadays, this huge square is one of the most popular attractions in the capital due to its large size. Tiananmen Square is one of the best places in Beijing to spend some time just relaxing and watching people, so just go there, sit down, relax, and have fun. Number 6. The World Park International travel could be overwhelming for Chinese citizens and that's where the World Park comes in to provide solutions. In the World Park, you can choose to make your way around in miniature speedboats, in battery-operated cars, or aboard the park's monorail system. Make sure you take lots of pictures at this cool and eccentric Beijing attraction. Number 7. Ulin Center for Contemporary Art the Olin Center for Contemporary Art is the child of Belgian philanthropists Guy and Miriam Olins. It used to be an abandoned military factory, but now it's one of the hot spots in Beijing for art, both local and international. All you need to do here is explore its art gallery to get a deeper understanding of contemporary Chinese culture. Number 8. Yonghe Gong Lama Temple This is one of the most religious places to visit in Beijing. This breathtaking elaborate temple was built for the Yongzheng Emperor in the Qing Dynasty when he was still a prince. After a few years when the emperor ascends the throne, the estate was transformed into a Buddhist temple, which make it seem more luxurious and impressive compared to the average temple. The temple consists of over 1,000 halls and monk cells, so you'll need plenty of time to see the whole thing. 
Number 9. Shi Cha Hai This beautiful and picturesque area in northwest Beijing is one of the most scenic spots in the city. Shi Cha Hai is the perfect place to escape Beijing's hustle and bustle, so try not to do too much. One of the nicest things to do in this peaceful and quiet area is sit in the shade of a willow tree and relax. And at number 10, China Watermelon Museum. Many people had visited Tiananmen Square, the Great Wall, and the Forbidden City, but how many people can boast of going to the Watermelon Museum? This side of Beijing is one of the largest watermelon producers in the world, so it makes sense that you come here to learn more about it. Nothing much to do here than to see wax watermelons from around the world and learn about their history. You can also head outside to see real watermelons growing. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching the video, guys. I hope it gave you a lot of value. If you enjoyed this video, comment down below your thoughts. Give this a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to keep you updated for more valuable content.